Are the Steelers going to make the playoffs? How fun is this? The Packers definitely are. They might win the Super Bowl. Um, how wild was season finale part one, a.k.a. week 17? Cue the playoff picture. It's what we do here on the Up and Adam show as we take a look at the NFC. The Eagles, let's set the table here. They're still atop at 13-3, and the one seed. And the entire NFC East title still up for grabs after the loss to the Saints who are playing great football at the end. It doesn't matter. Uh, that is two shots. Two shots the Eagles had at locking it up that failed. Oof. They miss Jalen. They need him back. And they've got decisions to make in Philly. The Niners, as you can see, they move up to the two seed after beating the Raiders in overtime to capture their ninth straight win. And they can take the one seed uh, with the win. And if the Eagles lose in week 18, and Bosa, by the way, runs the world. Vikings, woof. They drop down to the three seed. You couldn't do it, Vikings. You had to be so excited, hopped up on everything. All these close games, you get blown out and killed by the Packers. They're the three seed now. The Bucks. You let him in. You did it. You did it, you idiots. What did you do here? The Buccaneers wrap up the South. Division title, 30-24. to Come back from behind win over the Panthers. They lock up the four, and they host a team in the first round. Probably this one, the Cowboys. They're in the five seed. They can still win the NFC East. Well, how? They got to beat the Commanders week 18 and have the Eagles lose to the Giants. They're also still alive for the one seed if both the Eagles and the Niners lose. Ipso facto carry the one. We're on a roll here on a Monday. Um, the Giants, as you can see here, they clinched their first playoff berth since 2016. The infamous boat pictures, the Timberlands, all of it. They took down the Colts 38 to 10 yesterday afternoon and they are locked in. They cannot move from that six seed and that's important. Stay tuned, we'll tell you why. And the final wild card spot. Still completely up for grabs. I mean, the Packers take it with a win over a feisty Lions team in Week 18. The team running through the wall for Dan Campbell. Dan Campbell's like, you earn the right. You earn the right to play in a meaningful game. Um, and the Seahawks, they get the wild card, and they'd win uh, and be in if they get a W and the Packers lose. The Lions still somehow can grab that spot if they win and the Seahawks lose to the Rams. Sean McVay, think about this. Sean McVay may have the final say in whether or not Jared Goff takes this Detroit team, not just the team, the city, the entire Midwest, all of Michigan on his back into the playoffs. That is a twist of fate. I mean, give it to him, McVay. You got to give it to him. What are we doing here? Tweet the show, at Up and Adams Show. Uh, and let's move on to the AFC side of things. All right. As you can see, Chiefs move up. They get the one seed, oh boy, with their probable MVP with a win over the Broncos yesterday. But tonight, big game, Bengals-Bills. The Bills can snatch that right back with a win over the three-seeded Cincinnati squad. That's the Bengals. They can clinch the AFC North if they win tonight over the Bills. And they're in play still, people. The Bengals are in play for the one seed as well. The Jags lead oh let's do it what are we, where are we at here i think the jag don't know what happened but the jags lead the uh afc south at eight and eight following their 31 to 3 win over the texans the winner uh takes on i believe the titans next week uh and then they can earn that four seed now let me look at here the chargers they move up to the five seed they beat the rams yesterday in our backyard here the ravens what are we doing? What are we doing? They dropped to the six after losing to the Steelers, but they can still win the North if the Bengals lose tonight and they're able to beat Cincy next week. The Patriots, they're in the wild card spot, that final wild card spot, and they can lock it up if they beat the Bills next week. The Dolphins can snag it if they beat the Jets and the Pats lose and the Steelers. Uh, like I said last week, credit to Tomlin. Some noise for Tomlin here. They're very much alive. It was about a 2% chance at some point last week while I was in Cabo uh, drinking coconut water just for the hell of it, just for the gram, I'll admit it. Uh, but that's wild, and we'll get to that in a moment. If they beat the Browns next week and the Patriots and the Dolphins both lose, Pittsburgh would be in. So there you have it. Sorry about the snafu there in the middle of it. I think it happened because uh, it's crazy that the Jags and the Titans somehow are in it and can earn a four seed in this situation. I think my mind glitched on that one. So the table is officially set, guys, for week 18 as I bring in uh, Matthew Hamilton. Hamilton, did I miss anything egregious? 
No, I think you hit it all on the head that that Jags Titans game uh, is going to be is going to be big. And there's actually still a weird scenario where both of those teams can get in if the Titans beat the Jaguars and then the Patriots, Dolphins and Steelers all lose then the Titans would be AFC South champs and the Jaguars would get that last wild card spot. So there's still a little bit of uh, weirdness that we could see play out, uh, but it's going to be interesting. We did, we're still waiting on the Sunday slate of okay. games and how that's all going to shake out schedule wise, but we did get the Saturday schedule okay. released late last night. We're getting Chiefs Raiders at 4.30 on Saturday. And then that Titans, that aforementioned Titans Jaguars game is going to be at 8.15 the de facto AFC South championship game. So yes. it's going to be a lot of fun next week. It, it certainly will. So last year, I remember being like, I don't want to like this 18, week 18 thing. And it actually mattered and it made the games and the playoffs all that better. Do you think it's shaping up that way this year? I think so. I think uh, we could see some strange things happen. Um, you know, if the Chiefs are able to lock up the one seed on Saturday night, that could make the Bills potentially not have a lot to play for uh. in that game against the Patriots. And maybe the Bills rest some guys and the Patriots get an edge in that game, but uh, which would be kind of catastrophic. But yeah. uh, we'll, we'll see how that plays out. But um, I'm interested to see what they do with the Sunday night football game. I think everybody kind of thinks it's going to be uh, Packers-Lions as of right now. I think that would be the natural choice. But there is a little bit of concern because if they make that the Sunday night game, and the Seahawks win against the Rams earlier. earlier in the day, then the Lions would already be eliminated by the time we get to Sunday Night Football. So that's the risk you run by making that move, but I think that has to be the game, right? Uh, well, we were stewing over other options. This is like nerd stuff. Like this is nerd, oh, yeah. but we love, we're like, who's, I love it. <laughs> who's getting flexed? Who's getting like, we, go, we try to go into the beautiful minds of these schedule make, makers who, are, are insanely intelligent and have all the, you know, algorithms and all of that. But you have to think the only other option would be Bengals Ravens, right? Yeah. And that really only comes into play if the Bengals lose tonight, because if the Bengals beat the Bills tonight, that AFC North title's already decided. Uh, so that game kind of loses some of its luster um, yeah. because it'll only really be meaningful for the Bengals, maybe potentially being able to get the one seed, but I just can't see any game having more meaning than Lions. Because even if the Lions are eliminated, you know that game is going to mean a ton to that fan base to keep Aaron Rodgers out. Especially, oh, so true. He's talked, he talked a lot of trash about the Lions over the last couple of weeks. Even after that first loss to Detroit, he was like, the Lions didn't beat me. I beat myself. So. Yeah. You listened to his entire 15-minute post game. What were your thoughts? I, Aaron Rodgers. I did. I mean, I was just it in was, Cabo, and they were talking to me about, like, and, you know, I was looking at little experiences I could do just to fill the cur <laughs> Not ayahuasca, but like something, well, something ritualistic <laughs> on my New Year's Eve. And, you know, Temescal, I think you go into like a sweat lodge tent and do all this stuff. And then they're like, oh, we can do the frog venom thing for you. And I was like, frog venom? Like, you know, like where they inject you with, to clean your blood, to, to do something. And I'm like, that sounds like something. Aaron would do and so maybe I want to do but I was like but he didn't have a great season he's probably not making the playoffs so I'm not and then this game yesterday taking down the NFC North champions I'm like give me the frog venom I'm not saying he did give frog venom. venom or if that's okay or like on some sort of list that's going to get him popped for something is that what I'm saying but it just seemed like something very Aaron Rodgers e to get frog venom put into your veins no yeah and he was talking a lot yesterday about the power of manifestation and how he believes in all that and um you know he He's definitely enjoying the moment right yeah. now, I think. And uh, well, I know you're going to get into a little bit of that a little bit later and show some of that. But uh, he's 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 reveling in this right now. But there's still work to be done because the Lions are not just going to roll over for this Packers squad either. It's so true. So we've got this Saturday thing where the Jags and Titans can both get in and they're fighting for the four seed and it's the AFC South championship. I admitted to you something before the show that I'm just going to tell everybody. Um, up oh until I was like 14, maybe 15, <laughs> maybe 17. I don't know. Who's counting? I thought it was seat, like the one seat, not the one seed. Doesn't it make more sense? What the hell is a seed? Why do they call it, it a seed? Like, it they does, got the two we're... seat. The Chiefs got the two. That means they're the second fiddle, the second seat in the, or in yeah. the NFL orchestra. That does make sense. Um, but as we were talking about it this morning, I, you know, I kind of guess. I was like, it sounds like something 
tennis related like the, it, yeah. I, I feel like the british came up with this in some form it just seems very british to me and, conrad's yeah. making fun of me i think i'm gonna call them seats. there you go <laughs> you're fighting. just gonna do it you're gonna change it the one seat what does a seed have to do with it? i don't know didn't you didn't so, you look it up on wikipedia I did. yeah it says uh, well seed has many meetings <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, okay. we don't need to go there. The yeah. term, the, the, the one that's used in Game of Thrones very often, we're not going to go there. But here's the sports term of it. It was first used in tennis, which I, you're a genius, so you knew that. It's based on the idea of laying out a tournament ladder by arranging slips of paper with the names of players on them the way seeds or seedlings are arranged in a garden, which apparently, which no one knows, you have smaller plants up front and larger ones behind. Sure. What? It makes seat. sense. I was right. It's seat. So uh, we'll talk about, you know, we'll see that wild card seat might be taken by the Patriots. Hey, we got a, a guest coming up right after this that you know pretty well. What should I talk to him about? We do. Uh, I, I can't wait to hear Matt Castle's thoughts on, uh, on the Patriots because they are very much alive now. And big matchup, big win yesterday against the Dolphins. Big matchup coming up with the Bills. Uh, I know he's pretty plugged in there, as you are, so uh, I'm very much looking forward to that chat. Very much looking forward to Hey, can we just start this right now? We're going to do Aaron Rodgers' manifestation. DJ Reader tonight? Big game? Big game from DJ yeah. Reader? Can we stop Josh that Allen? Whole- can we stop Singletary? Can we stop everybody from running amok with that Bills offense there in Cincinnati tonight? DJ Reader, have yourself a game. Yeah, I'm looking at Logan Wilson, too. I'm excited to hear what he has to say about stopping Josh Allen, but he maybe they have him spying Josh a little bit to try to keep him under control. A little Wyoming on Wyoming yeah. uh, action tonight. Yeah. All right, we're going to we're talking about Sunday Night Football. Yeah, Wyoming, they were t- former teammates, uh, so we'll talk about that. Um, but, you, you know, you and I had a decision to make editorially last, last week, and we said, do we want to give space to the Panthers? who we love. We were rooting for them. Sorry, it didn't happen. They're officially eliminated uh, after being taken down by the Bucks in crazy comeback fashion. We'll get to that. 